So I am going to talk about the future that is India, the whole world. The future is going to be India. How it is, I am going to talk to you. The economic and the societal uh, transformation, if you transition, you want to take science, technology, and society, they are important. Innovations are important. Technological innovations and entrepreneurship can affect the most fundamental changes in the ground rules of economic development, competitiveness, and environment, resulting sustainable development to the society. So let us look at the technologies. We are the pioneers of technology. India was the pioneer in technology. The first alloy was made during the you know, Indus Valley. You can see that dancing girl, which we have read. That was the first alloy in the world. You see that there's a pillar in the Qutub Minar. 3,000 years old, no rust. They don't know why there is no rust. Nobody knows that. The uh, Nataraja statue, which we are worshipping, is made of five metals. That is done a process called investment casting. That has come only, the Europeans came to know about the investment industry only very recently. But our people were doing thousands of years. So like this, the first rocket, metal rocket, was made in India. So if you look at that base, all these things, before the Mughals and the Europeans, British came, we were the pioneers for everything. How the science came? It is even written in the Rig Veda days, 10,000 BC. 10,000 BC, you see that. That's the way things have gone. Now what happened? After uh, nearly 1500, you see, science in a different form has come in Europe. Everybody talked about theorems and hypotheses. All these things were written and we were dumped on that. So whatever we read today is the science of Europe. Industrial revolution came, we didn't participate. First World War, Second World War, we were slaves. Who, during Cold War time, we could see we started waking up. Now, the, when you, the, the whole uh, technology moving up from agriculture, industry, to information technology and to knowledge, the society is moving, and technology is also moving. If you look at the technology, moving technology, you see that finally now we are in the industry 4.0 and nano, uh, you know, bio and info technologies that are converging to make things better. So what we are now seeing is the emergence of uh, the artificial intelligence, robotics, and intelligent biomaterials. These are the things coming up. So what will rule the world when you want to ideate? The, the best brains are Indian brains, no doubt about it. What do you want to ideate? How do you want to ideate? You have to look at what are the things which are going to come. That is hypersonics, cyber physical systems, molecular biology, human machine inter interface, space resource exploitation from asteroids and planets, then you have got net zero carbon, which is a very important point because of the climate change. These are the things going to dominate the world for the next few years. And there only we have to capture, ideate, and create. So, but are we in the right direction? If you look at our development, if you see agriculture, we were hungry earlier. Now we have got surplus food. Food will not be reaching to all people, but we are producing 300 million tons of food grains. And we are now moving to, uh, there's a new technology, space technology coming, and we are going for precision farming. That will make us 400 million tons with reduced area. Milk, now we are the largest producer of milk in the world. To take power, we are struggling for power. Now we are coming up on 100,000 megawatt of power is coming from solar, going to come happen wind and nuclear. There are 12 more reactors are being built. Computer, you take computer. Supercomputer was refused to us during the MTCR, Missile Technology Control Regime. We all trade for a computer. We didn't get, but we are making a bit of love computers. We are working on uh, the uh, quantum computing we are working on. There's a big group in India under our own governmental system is working on quantum computing. Now, IT and ITS, you know that we are generating nearly $300 million in a year we are generating. Pharma, we are doing better. Now, IIT Madras has come out with a new, new processor called Shakti. That is the first Indian processor which can do wonders much better than Intel processor. So, it has come out. 
Similarly, you see communication now, everybody has got uh, their phone. Then you see the defense area, many things we have done. We have got strategic systems. We are having the nuclear submarine. Uh, we are good in combat uh, vehicles, combat aircraft, and uh, space. We are the pioneers. Just in the morning, there was a launch of the PSLV, 56th launch, very successful launch. And we are now looking at the uh, space missions, reaching the planets, and working on the hypersonic. Quietly, we are working on that. It's a cruise missile, hypersonic cruise missiles. And we also want a hyperplane for taking us at a faster speed. So if you look at this trend of the development for various missions, definitely India is moving up. But whatever may be the political system, whatever may be the situations in India, but we are moving. So now let us take one application of space technology. See, space, we have remote sensing. You know, today's launch is a remote sensing satellite. Agriculture, it can do wonders in agriculture. We are, we are basically an agriculture country. There are many things that are happening, water resources, then land use, climate conditions, fishery, and disaster management, all these things get support. In agriculture, what we can support is the precision agriculture. We want to know what is the soil condition today. We don't want to go and do that. It should, satellite should tell us what is the soil condition. What is the seed selection, whether it is okay or not. Then you see the crop management, watering, all these things can be maintained by the satellite images. So this is a very important technology which we have to use. Israel has practiced it to some extent, but we want to go in a big way in the uh, precision agriculture. Now you see a startup. Look at this startup. It's called Satshwar. I was working with them in Bangalore. These uh, people, they have come out with a, a satellite-based uh, agriculture. They are implemented in uh, Andhra Pradesh. Very well they implemented. And it is a farm level soil moisture, moisture and then uh, the, uh, the, they can really understand the soil conditions using the imagery of the satellite and they are using AI for crop management, insurance of the farmers, all these things they have introduced. Very nicely they did that. Then look at India. We have launched that one web, 36 satellites we launched. Uh, each satellite is 150 kg and 1200 kilometer polar orbit we put it and it's a pride of our nation. We are, we are, we are not just generating results for us, you see, we are all other people come to us for launch. That's the situation. We have completely transformed ourselves to a leader. Now look at this PSLV. It has put 104 satellites in orbit. No other country has done 104 satellites in world launch. So we have done that. Now, what do we do further on that? See, look at the youngsters. There are many startups that have come on space technology. One is called Skyroot. Only a few days back, 18th of November, they launched a first suborbital, privately managed launch they have done. These are the people whom you are seeing. These guys have done a sky route, is the uh, company. They have done that. And another company called Agnikul in Chennai, they have made a 3D printed rocket engine. Whole rocket engine is 3D printed. And today India has got 57,000 startups and 105 unicorns. So 8,900 of these are technology-led startups. Two to three technology startups are born every day. See the growth of youngsters, how they are looking at it. All startups are now yielding. There may be many failures, but results are good. So look at the innovations. See this missile program we have got. You know, all other people in the world, they have developed missiles. The ballistic missiles, it's a ballistic trajectory. Ballistic trajectory means it's a parabolic trajectory. We are the first people to think we should go for a maneuverable trajectory. Before even the 91 interception of SCUD by Patriot, we have done this. And this is quietly we did that. This is a, both in the azimuth plane as well as in the vertical plane. The first innovation of a maneuverable trajectory of a missile but nobody can intercept it. So then we need accuracy. Impact point should be good. We need better sensors. They will not give. So there's uh, the MTCR, Missile Technology Control Re Regime. Nobody will give you. So what our youngsters, four young minds, sat together 
and made a core sensor into a very accurate sensor by injecting software into the hardware. This is a big innovation they have made. So these are young minds work better. So you know Agni, we have got five different Agnis, 700 kilometer to 5,000 kilometer. You know, you, we are covering the whole area you are covering. So there is no enemy for us because it is carrying nuclear warhead and it will destroy any place that power we are having. But how do we get that power? You need innovation for that. What is the innovation? You need a proper shape so that you can reach the target. The shapes were hundreds of shapes. We don't have any place to experiment. We didn't have any hypersonic facilities to try out. So what we did? Use software. That is called computational fluid dynamics. So you generate grid points in a shape. Hundreds of shapes are there. Each shape is 100,000 points. Each point took nine days for one iteration. We cannot do that. So we needed a supercomputer. Supercomputer was not available to us. We tried with the uh, US for uh, Craig XMB computer. They said, we will give you lunch, not computer, they said. So Dr. Kalam went all the way to get a lunch from them. And what we did, 14 young people sat together, worked for two years, and they made a computer which was 20 times faster than the Craig XMB which was reviewed us. And what we did, nine days iteration has become five minutes. So this is the strength of our youngsters. So it is now it is our job to deploy them correctly. That is the thing. You see, there's, uh, there's another thing. We were, uh, there's one, Ori was there with us. Whatever we do, we are following somebody. They have done it earlier. We are only doing something innovative, but we are not the first in the world. How to become first in the world? That was our challenge. So by doing this project called Promos, we became first in the world. So the, that was a challenge. What was the challenge? Tomahawk, American Tomahawk. It can go, it can go to any place and hit the target. It was used very well in the Gulf War. But what happened is a subsonic. So we thought we will make the first supersonic cruise missile. So we joined with Russia. And you know, the innovation here is a joint venture which is funded by government but private sector. So I happened to be the CEO of the company. So what we did, we developed the, the technology required for that. So it can be launched from any platform, uh, any uh, trajectory it can take, any target it can hit, anywhere it can play. There's no other missile in the world which can do this. You will just see it is launched from a uh, an aircraft, Sukhoi, is launching this. So it is to go 300 kilometers and it has to hit a target between the two red points at the center. So this is the, all the time we got bullseye hit, whether it be launched from ship or from land, uh, from anywhere, it was a success story. So we come to US, we are far superior. We are three times faster, nine times powerful because of the speed and we have got, we are undefeatable because of the stealth technology as well as the speed. We are standing number one. So 205 industries and 20,000 full-time youngsters, these are all young people, all recruited by us mainly, mainly our technicians, they are full-time there. So this is the concept. Concept is, you think, can we leapfrog? Mind to market from the beginning, then brand, you establish your brand. So speed, precision, power, that is the innovation. Leadership, thinking ahead and managing complexities because two, two countries are involved. Creativity is novel JV concept, one step higher than what others can think. Okay, best practices, and finally we got the Brahmastra. So it's realized we put the $300 million together, that is $150 million by India, but we have generated $10 billion. So now we are in the hypersonic, from supersonic to hypersonic. Now you know you heard about the Artemis, so moon is very interesting. Why moon? Because it has got large millions of tons of helium-3, 
which is going to be the future resource for energy. So that's why we are all interested in that. Our factory has to come at the moment. So innovation is continuous. If you look at the innovations, it's going continuous and generations. And now what we are working on is making new things, computing and synthesized, and looking at the different uh, things. You, know? you can have the ultra large scale systems, intelligence of machines and networking of systems. So now we are looking at transhuman. See, this is a very important point. People talk about only intelligence. We are talking about transhuman. Look at, look at Krishna, what he has done. From his mind, he operated the uh, Siddharth Chakra. It did its job, came back to his hand. That is our future beside. So now industry four people are talking, and I'm talking about industry five. 5.0 is all new technologies are coming for industry 4.0 for efficiency and productivity. What is more important is sustainability. Sustainable, human-centric, and resilient industry you have to generate. That is the topic, that is a task for us. That is called industry 5.0. Look at India. It, it gave that knowledge to the world. We are the most prosperous, prosperous country in the world. 2,000 years before, see the prosperity came down, came down because of the rulers. Now we are getting up, going up, slowly, slowly going up, but we have to become faster. How we can become faster? We've got a vision document, but still, there are 800 million youth with us. What we have to give? Skill. We have to make them work for the nation. 8.5% GDP growth rate. Industry, make things for the world, not for you. That should be your concept. So the future, that is India. So what C.V. Raman told, what is needed today, we need a spirit of victory, a spirit that will carry us to our rightful place under the sun, a spirit which will recognize that we, the inheritors of the proud civilization, are entitled to a rightful place on this planet. Thank you.